Ladies and gents, what I'm sure you've all been waiting for, a video on the India Fox Teco Tornado for Microsoft Flight Sim, and it is so very nearly here. Now, India Fox Teco have kindly allowed me to make a video of this aircraft pre-release, so this is a work in progress example. You might notice things that are buggy or incorrect. If you do, put it in the comments below and I'll feed it back to the developer. But in this video, I'm going to be taking the aircraft uh, from RF Marum. I'll throw it into low level, do the terrain following radar, demonstrate that, uh, some of the animation the wing sweep I'm even going to throw multiple tornadoes in formation using the airshow assistant app which I'll demonstrate as well and then we'll fly it across to Wales into the Mac loop of course we have to do that because I have flown there many times in the tornado as well and I'll be doing that in formation with another aircraft so multiple firsts going on but the primary reason for this video is to demonstrate just how good this tornado is pre-release of course it may change a little bit beforehand it is not a review because there will be bugs hidden in amongst the system so I'm not going to be diving too deep into anything just yet. If you want the latest information on the release and prices and details and features then go ahead to the Discord for India Fox Teco or any of their social media outlets. Okay the seat is live, we've got four pins down there, we've got the bass to live, uh, we've got our flaps and slats, I think everything else is good, we'll get this thing going and we'll pick up anything else once we're airborne. Nice! Okay, burners are lit, speed is reading 100 knots there, good speed. Now it's been almost 10 years since I've flown this, so I'm guessing on some of the numbers, so don't hold me to it. Climbing, gear. Gears up, flaps. Burners should come out here. And we are up. 300 knots, wing still 25. Yes. Have a quick look outside. The thing of beauty. We should really configure this for flying around. Let's put some wings to 45. Let's set this up for terrain following. So we've got 420 knots, we'll do. We've got the wing sweep at 45. We're above a thousand feet on the rad out. You need to select rad out in the HUD if you want to get that. The terrain following radar I have switched on, so that is good to go. Uh, down the left hand side, we have uh, throttle control, so it's auto throttle. We can have heading control, so it'll match the heading bug, which is in the 12 o'clock position, and the terrain following radar will switch on, or correction, the uh, FDS portion of that, and we'll set it to 400 feet. And then, and then, uh, the button for the autopilot is on the stick, so it's keybound to your autopilot toggle. Let's see what this does. Okay. AP is engaged. There's a little spangle on the on the front there. We're coming through three uh, 1,100 feet. Everything looks good. I've got three lights on the dash and the autopilot, so that's four lights. And then, and then it should fly itself. Is it leveling off? What do we have set down here? 400 feet. Now the terrain following radar is based on the uh, rad out, so it's not looking forwards. If you're in undulating terrain, it's probably not going to work too well. You'll be disappointed. But it's a decent implementation in my mind, and it's similar to what the F-35 uses, I believe. So we can skip this down to, uh, I guess that's 300 feet. And what I'll do next is I'll put some formation players in so they can fly alongside with us. <laughs> How good does that look? I mean, honestly. All right, what are we going to do? We're going to put some formation guys in. Where are we headed? We headed uh, kind of west. Well, let's scroll it, uh, scroll it to the west because that's that's generally where Wales is, isn't it? That's working out nicely. I love it. Right, airshow assistant. Let me just show you how I'm doing this so that you get a little bit of background. If you haven't got this app, I think it's fairly cheap uh, on the marketplace. But let's cover this quickly. This is not the focus of the video, but I do want to see other people. So we've got wingman uh, one, cover me, and then. Where is he? Here he comes! Look at that! So it's not just it appears in the right position, but it will fly up to the position you requested. That is awesome. Uh, but you can have more aircraft. I'll do that in a bit, but let's have a look outside. <laughs> that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, so that's what it looks like from the front seat. Let's have a look in the back seat. So I'm pressing the C key, and we're in the back seat. I've never flown live in the back seat. 
but I've sat in it in the sim uh, and of course in the real aircraft and this is just stunning I mean look at that I have no idea what anything does in the back here because quite frankly I've not been trained to do it oh yes that's awesome right whilst I'm sat here let's put some more players players in you can see the loveliness that is the tornado in uh, formation so we can set um, wingmen lots of wingmen three other wingmen let's have a look sounds like my GPU doesn't melt in rendering four tornadoes look at that hang on it looks like the guys on the outside are in uh, the 67 wing kudos oh no has he put his wings forward I don't know they're doing they're doing their own thing but I'm happy and one final thing I'll show you with this is you can, with the Airshow Assistant, you can put yourself as number two or three. But number two, ah, strange things do happen. Move that out of the way. Then you can be in the mix. I'm still in the back seat. Let's uh, get ourselves into the front, shall we? That's better. And now he's leading. Number two. Right, let's have a quick look at the other formations. We can go for a finger. Now you might notice some anomalies with animations. I think the air brake popped out. It's kind of stuck out, which is actually kind of authentic for a tornado. It often happens. But that, look at that. Yes, that is awesome. All right, let's disengage autopilot. That's enough terrain following radar. And let's climb it up and cruise across to Wales. Reacts pretty well too. I mean, you'll notice he's not just static on the wing. He's wobbling around a little bit, adjusting himself or herself. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's chuck it in the barrow for the cruise. We can have the Mac number if we wish. Uh, let's sweep this sucker back and see if we can get it supersonic. So here we are just cruising over Lake Bala. We have our wingman in tow, so he's doing a fine job of following along. We're about 300 feet on the rad out and 420 knots there or thereabouts. So all good stuff. We are about one minute out of the Mac loop and we're going to take the Mac loop in formation in the tornado for the first time. How exciting is that? Uh, after that, we'll do one lap and then we'll go to a valley for the landing. I'm not going to do anything too fancy, just to straight in, uh, as they're still developing the uh, flight dynamics of this aircraft as well. So as a reminder, this is a pre-release work in progress copy. But feel free to put anything you observe in the comments down below and I'll feed it back to the developer. But so far, I've been having a lot of fun in this aeroplane. Just taking it all in. Okay, the Tornado is not the most manoeuvrable aircraft. It is fast and pointy, but it doesn't like to turn particularly quick. So you do have to take the racing line around the corners, almost like you're flying a medium-sized bomber. Technically, that's kind of what it is. So that's what I'm going to try and do. This is only my second time practicing, so uh, <laughs> bear with me. Hold on judgment, please. Here we go. Ah, the memories. Okay, staying on the right-hand side of the valley. He's staying high, so that is good. We're going to peel around to the left. Need to turn this nice and early. That's a good turn. Lovely. Down towards chorus, left, right turns. Not bad. I have to pick out the hills, I need to turn this a little bit early, definitely can't do the left right down here. Oh, peeling to the outside, no that works, that's good. Don't ridge clip, 250 feet over the top, which I got. I'm ready for the left hand turn, this is kind of tricky so I want to hold over to the right hand side. And pull it round the corner. Where's my wingman? He's, uh, he actually goes to the outside of the turn as well, which I'm quite impressed with. Once I get straight on this portion, I will show you the wingman at low level because it's just, it looks epic, absolutely epic. Okay. 
<laughs> That's just so cool. Just brilliant. I'm not paying attention to where I'm going. Usually I record this and then play it back uh, using a replay tool, but today I just wanted to go for a fly and give you the experience of the tornado. Watch the ground, mate. 480 knots. <laughs> that is, you're a little low, dude. Look at those shadows. Look at those shadows, awesome. Right, we're coming up to the left turn towards Bluebells. Doesn't take long to get around this loop, about two or three minutes at this speed. I could sit in the back. Should I sit in the back? Have a let's have one last little cheek. I mean, this is what it looks like <laughs> from the back seat, and it's not designed for you to be able to see, because the idea for the guy in the back is to look at his scopes and uh, sort everything out in terms of weapons. So you could fly it from the back. There are some twin stickers for training, but obviously the fun portion is this seat. That is incredible. No, nope, getting a bit behind it. Need to get onto the racing line and a right turn. Can't see where I'm going. I'm pretending I can see where I'm going. That'll do. That will do, Donkey. That will do. She's pretty. You've got to admit she's pretty. Pretty in pink. I could, do, I could just look at it. I could just just buy it, put it on autopilot, and just look at it. Beautiful. Okay, we're cruising on home. We're following the west coast to the north. We've got the Clinton Peninsula going through the nose as we turn around to the right. And then Anglesey is up this way somewhere. So I'll skip ahead, put ourselves towards the approach, and uh, we'll put this thing on the deck. What is my wingman doing? It's got his air brakes out to slow down. That is... I'm 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 impressed with that. Air show assistant, who knew? Right, that was a poor corner, so I've got... Just checking the terrain underneath me. No, we're clear. 350 knots. I'm happy with that because I'm about to exit low level. <laughs> oh, love it. I mean, I've, I've seen this view, aircraft following you formation, so often it's just bringing back all those memories. Right, out we go. We're not doing any radios. We're just going to find our way to uh, the runway 31, I believe it is. There's the Menai Straits. Separates Anglesey from the rest of Wales. All right, I'm sorry. Just look at this scenery. That is ridiculous. As in, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so what I've done is I've just popped the autopilot on quickly. Now we should hold around about the speed of this altitude. I've put the wingman into fingertip position. Let's have a look outside. In fact, let's put the fuel probe out. Yes, I got to show you that earlier. They have, uh, I think they're enabling it so that if you hit certain parameters, it will actually refuel you airborne, so that's cool. I mean, I'm sorry, just look at the scenery. Look at that aircraft. Absolutely incredible. back in and let's uh, let's focus on this landing shall we so autopilot disengaged okay let's pop some speed brake just demonstrate that one as well because it looks really cool look at that okay time to load some gear and some flap I've removed my formation buddy because he was just causing more issues than he was solving For the most part the formation thing works uh, flaps full or a little alarm that I oversped it slightly, it's fine. So flap down, gear down, three greens. Descending, runway in sight. Yes. And the Alpha is not far off, I have to say. They keep tweaking the uh, flight dynamics and they're getting almost spot on, I would say. But look at this. This, is, uh, this has been quite an exciting flight and I hopefully you can hear the enthusiasm and how much 
I'm enjoying this airplane, but I'm of course very biased. Let me know in the comments below what you think, of course. After landing, we'll rock out board. It's got spoilers and uh, thrust reverse, so we'll do some of that. Lovely stuff. All right, of course, I'm not paying attention to my parameters. So I'm well off, I'm a bit steep, a bit fast. Uh, we've got three greens, flaps down, air brakes in. And getting ready for the landing. Landing long, yes, I know. And landing fast, yes, I know as well. Come on. We're down. It's a little bit twitchy under the pedals, but we're there. Nice. Well, I've enjoyed myself. Thank you for coming along for the ride. There'll be many more videos on this beautiful beast coming out, especially once it's finally released. And I will catch you all next time. So until then, take care and fly safe.